a misunderstood substance. Yo, what's up? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report was sent in by Pablo, where he took three C's on nutmeg. And here's the full report details. Alright, here we are with what's most likely the only 90 pH report this delirant week. And it's one that even begs the question whether or not it's even a delirant. And that's nutmeg. Now we've had reports with nutmeg where it has shown delirium by DPH Arditora. Commonly with cannabis though. But the thing is, nutmeg doesn't act as an anticholinergic, making any delirant activity atypical. But this report challenges that perspective as this experience tends to lean more towards the recreational side, even somewhat psychedelic at moments. We get a good look at nutmeg and its possible effects, so I'm sure you'll enjoy this. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. So I tried to send you this a couple months ago, but I just realized I misspelled your email. Yup, kinda dumb. Here's the report. Also, I'm not a native English speaker, so there may be some grammar errors. 1300 PM. After I left work, I knew it wasn't going to be an interesting day at home. So I decided to go to the store and buy some nutmeg to trip on. I didn't go to my usual store as it was closed. And I went to this other one and bought some fresh seeds. These ones were big, had a white coat of powder over them. I always bought smaller seeds in the other store so I probably consumed more of what I was used to. 13.40 PM. Have lunch. I had two chicken beefs and some pasta with veggies, which made me feel full, but not overwhelmed. I will wait until I do digestion and then eat the seeds. 16.00 PM. I grind up the seeds to a powder and ingest them with water. Shitty taste, but nothing too bothering, like I read on some forums. I avoid the tongue as much as I can, and if there are tiny pieces, I chew them with my front teeth. At this time, I started elongating to start exercising by the next hour. 1700 PM Start exercising. Zero effects by now. Most of my other trips started 4 hours later after digesting the meristocin. 1800 PM As I'm moving and I'm making my bloodstream work harder, it started to feel as a mild dose of wheat. This feeling in previous trips usually started 2 or 3 hours after I ate the seeds, but I haven't worked out previously in those experiences. 18.30 PM I finished working out and I was preparing my post meal. While I was working out, I was watching a video about black holes. I kept thinking about the topic while I was occupied with the food. Suddenly, I catch myself having thoughts about how reality is capable of creating such massive objects, and a sensation of fright started creeping on me. These thoughts about how the universe does its things started to overwhelm me, and that made me realize that I was starting to trip. I went to the bathroom as I felt my eyes getting heavy. They were starting to get red. 18.50 PM Hour that I started writing this. In the 20 minute transition from the kitchen to my room, I caught my previous internal chanting just by thinking, you live down this weird universe every day of your life, and now, the day you want to have a good trip, you are freaking out, dumbass. 19.45 PM I had been playing some Counter-Strike. I felt very relaxed and concentrated on what I was doing. If I had to do a comparison with weed, it felt like it minus what I call the mental muddiness meaning that I'm not getting distracted by my thoughts while doing something. By now, the only thing bothering me a little bit were my nutmeg flavored burps, which I have had in the past, so I was already adapted to them. 20, 30, 100 hours. I shower while listening to metal. My phone was playing some Long Ripper. Band I recommend while tripping. They are great. And from nowhere, the music changes to a cheesy acoustic guitar happy melody. It was a YouTube ad. And the contrast between the heavy shit I was playing and that made me laugh really hard. It definitely feels like weed by now. I got out of the shower and my eyes were red as tomatoes. 
So I knew I wouldn't go to dinner with my mom. 21 20 hundred hours. Not much time happened between when I left the bathroom and went to my room again. I told my mom I had stomach cramps, so I missed dinner that night. It was a half lie as I didn't want her to see my red eyes. But at the same time, the burps were starting to bother me more. 2300 hours. In my room playing guitar. I feel really stoned but not groggy, so I managed to play some songs without problems. The stomach pain stopped and I'm enjoying the experience very well. After that last snow, I forgot I was reporting the trip, and in the end, I proceeded into the experience. The following hours, I listened to music and rubbed one out, and I went to sleep at about 1. The next day, I could still feel it, but not that hard, and it finally ended in the afternoon. I guess people who say this drug is dangerous or uncomfortable tried it a lot one time and never took it again. Although my trip went okay, I don't eat the seeds every day as I read somewhere that it can't fuck up your liver in the long run.